In February of 2014, breast cancer surgeon Julie Margentaler stepped into the operating room at the Seitman Cancer Center in St. Louis and covered her eyes. For the first time and numerous times since, she used high-tech goggles that allowed her to see cancerous tissue in ways she never could before, in real time, lit up like a Christmas tree. When you saw what you saw, how cool was that? It was very cool. We weren't sure we would see that. You know, we had a very good feeling that we would based on all of our animal data. But until you do it for the first time, you just don't know if it's going to act the same way in a human as it does in a mouse or a rat. And so we have two views that we take. This is called the... Cancer surgeons have plenty of images of tumors, mammograms, and other scans, and they use those as guides. Because in surgery, this is not what they see with the naked eye. And while we talk about breast tumors as lumps, they are not as clearly defined as that sounds. There's these little speculations that come out from the tumor, and that's where we really get our indeterminate nature of our tumor. Or so surgeons take the main target, the cancerous mass, and then some of the surrounding tissue in an attempt to get all of the cancer. But at the end of the day, you don't know that until your pathologist really takes several days to microscopically evaluate all those edges. And the reality is that about 10, even as much as up to 40 percent of the time, we're frankly wrong. We just don't see that microscopic extension. And that means going back in for more surgery. The hope is, and this is being tested, that the goggles will help surgeons remove all the cancer the first time significantly reducing the number of additional surgeries. This is the head monitor display, and this is the camera attached. The goggles look deceptively simple. They are, in fact, a complicated device, integrating sophisticated engineering, optics, biochemistry, and data processing. So whatever the camera sees is shown here. Suman Mandal is one of the graduate students on the Washington University Medical School team, led by Dr. Samuel Achilefu. He started working on this after a surgeon asked him if there was anything he could come up with that would help surgeons see cancer in the operating room. And that's what got me to thinking what kind of methods or devices can one create um, that's simple with no footprint in the operating room so that it's much easier to use. So there were many um, challenges along the way and, and today we've reached to the stage where um, is something that we know will be a game changer in, in the operating room. So what happens is then that... Here's how it works. A patient is injected with a chemical marker that latches onto the cancerous cells. This can't be seen by the human eye, but it does show up under infrared light. The light source is on right now, so it's exciting. Um, this, uh, the dye in the vial. So exactly what I'm seeing, you can see in the laptop there. The camera on the goggles picks up both the visible light image and the infrared image of the glowing cancer cells. And this is where it gets tricky. This is the waste pouch which, which has a processing unit. Both images are sent to the processor worn in a pack by the surgeon. They're combined there into a single image and sent back to be displayed on the inside of the goggles. All within a fraction of a second, back to the surgeon's vision, such that what they now see is an object. It has to be oriented in such a way that uh, is displayed in a way the surgeon will not even realize that processing is going on behind the scene to display those images. So that's how basically it was. All of this might bring to mind military night vision goggles or something you'd wear for a video game. And in fact, it does draw on some of those same technologies. And already there's a new generation of medical professionals who have grown up with this kind of stuff. And we believe that the younger clinicians coming out today, they are very comfortable with gadgets. Uh, and the cooler it is, the better it is for them to apply that. I think that surgeons would welcome a tool that they could wear as long as it's ergonomically viable in the operating room, but I think they would welcome a tool that they could wear that would guide their surgery in a way that has never been able to be possible before. The Washington University team is working to make this system wireless and the goggles transparent, and they're awaiting FDA approval for an improved chemical marker. So far, the goggles have been used on breast and skin cancer operations, and they are still in the testing phase. 
But already, Dr. Morgan Taylor and other surgeons who are using the goggles are encouraged, if not downright amazed, by what they've seen.